First of all, we cut off the top. And I like to cut this off, cut off the leaves. All my rinds I'm going to save for making tepache. If you want to see how to do that, you can check out my video on that. Next is the bottom. Cut the bottom off. Save that. Now we just got the sides. We're going to cut down this way on them. It's so about right there. Let's follow the contours of the fruit. Cut down. And if you don't get it perfect, you can always go back and trim it up a little bit. There you are. All this gets saved. Does not get thrown away. All right, but we still have that core in the middle. So what we do there, we put our knife right to the side of the core, and just cut straight down. Turn it, do it again. Get as close as you can to the core without, can I see, cut into the core a little bit right there. Get as close to the core as you can get without getting any of the core in your fruit. Now we have this, that gets saved too. And if you do mess up, like I did, you can just trim that little piece out. You can just trim that little piece out. I can still feel a little bit right there. All right, and then that piece is for you. Now from here, you can dice it however you like. You can do a large dice like that. Just leave it in nice big chunks if that's what you want. Uh, a little more trim. You can do a smaller dice if you want. Cut it this way, and this way, and make a small dice. And you have little cubes. I typically just Go for a medium, sort of bite-sized pieces. There you go, a whole pineapple broken down into bite-sized pieces and a delicious beverage in the making.